quite a challenge how you keep the past so that it evokes memories. People who come in here sort of say, oh, you know, that was, I remember that window, that was my office. But, but in, in, a, in a complete recreation, so it is new. And in that sense, it is unlike anything that we've seen before. Like any of the buildings, this one is um, it's a one-off, it's unique. I mean, from the outside, there is a natural break point. There is a setback, and that demarcates the base of the building, which in a way now re-establishes its relationship with the sidewalk, brings that to life with, with shops. And this is, in a way, the principal level, the recreated principal level. And by gutting this space, this becomes, in a way, the meeting point of the two worlds public world uh, who are invited in here from time to time, the visitors um, and the community of Hearst. The solid part of the tower, which conventionally is always in the middle of the office space, here has been pushed right to the back. So that allows a lot of the things that we experience here and also higher up the tower to happen. Um, so we have this generosity of space, which you would never get in a conventional building. You always have this feeling of a good orientation when you come out of the elevator. The space, which is the continuation of the lobby, out to the facade is always clear. You, know, you always know where you are on the office floor. I think you, you always expect the mood of the building to change with the time of day. One of the, perhaps, the surprises is that the, the, the range of those changes is, is much greater than we anticipated. The way in which at certain, perhaps late in the day, the stainless steel surfaces within this space start to take on the kind of coloration of the of the walls and the and the stone, and then in the morning it's you know it's a completely different uh, scene. The form works quite interestingly socially on the on the office floors, in the sense that the corners are the most dramatic points for the view. They're either tilting out, in which case you get this combination of the horizon and you know the, almost the plan of the street or they're tilting back which gives greater emphasis to the sky. In the way that we've all worked together on the planning we've respected that the greatest views from the corners are always public to that space. In other words they've not been taken over by somebody's office but they're for everybody to share. Really, the architectural framework, it really just captures the view. And there isn't a bad view, you know. It's New York. <laughs>